Here she comes. Welcome to Chicago. And I apologize. I just learned it's Chi Town. Chi Town, yeah. They called it Chai, like Chai Tea. Chai well, tea lattes are very, very good, but no, this is Chi Town. It's Chi Town. What yes. else have you learned about Chicago? How long have you been here today? I got here last night. Oh, nice. So I haven't learned a lot, but I was in the um, Hard Rock. Very cool. On the 31st floor. Mm-hmm. And I woke up this morning and I was uh, admiring the architecture. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Now, is this your first time in Chicago? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. So unbelievable. I'm, I'm not. I'm not well traveled. <laughs> across well, the you're about yet. to be. You're about yeah, to be well traveled. Yeah, yeah. so, so first thing you got to do when you come to Chicago, I don't know if you did it last night, but you need to get some of our deep dish pizza, mm. or you need to try a hot I heard dog. Hot dogs. Yeah. Hot dogs yeah. are very good. Yeah. So you make sure after the interview, we'll go. Me and you will go. Okay. We'll just go on like a date. Forget your band. Forget this guy, the tall guy next to you. We'll just go. Bye guys. <laughs> a, co- Later, a couple things about Chicago, just so you know. You know, we're known for. We have Michael Jordan, Chicago. Okay. okay. Oprah Winfrey. Oh. Chicago, right. and maybe the biggest of them all, McDonald's is based He's in the first Chicago. from Chicago. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. So now you're just who, who, who to thunk? Da, da, who da, da, to thunk? Da, da, da. That's awesome. <laughs> so I let's love talk about that. it I right love now. The McChicken. The are good, yeah, right? Okay. They're so good. They still I have put those? honey on them. Except you shouldn't be eating it. It's like fake chicken, but it's no, so it's good. no, it's real chicken from Chicago. This is right, how you right. don't get sponsored yeah. by McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat a McChicken. That shit's fake. <laughs> no, don't eat it. Don't <laughs> eat it. <laughs> We've all seen the videos where it's like pink paste, but I still eat it. You never seen a pink chicken before? <laughs> all right. So, anyways, let's, <laughs> talk, let's talk about your music. How about we did we just yeah, yeah, yeah. here's a we, seg we from transition. how about a seg from the pink chicken over to uh, Octahate? How about yeah. that? Let's talk okay, about the single okay. Octahate. Yeah. Great song. Very, Thank very you. different. Who were your influences growing up? Oh, God. Um, I like a lot of the female singer-songwriters, yeah. you know, from like 60s, 70s. Like Justin Bieber or something? Yeah. Like, right, yeah. Justin right. Bieber mostly. <laughs> and uh, I love Bowie. I love yeah. all the kind of like glam dudes. And I, yeah. uh, who else? Uh, my, I love dad rock. I dad love a rock? lot of the has that. But I'm also raised in, in, the, in the era of a... Uh, Britney Spears, you know, like when Wait, I yeah. was a baby. Hold on a second. Is dad rock like is music that, a- that your dad listened to when yeah, you were growing up? Yeah, and he got it. He got me into it. Like, like I who? was like a Pet Sounds girl. I li- I'm gonna, can I use that? I dad, dad rock. I like rock. that. I call it dad rock. Dad and rock. like Pink Floyd. Like, oh, okay, that's okay. all my, my jam. Right. So dad rock. I'm definitely like a classic rock Led Zeppelin, girl. that would be dad rock. Yes. Gotcha. Love Led Zeppelin. Okay, right. The Doors. Yeah. Should we do drugs right now? The Doors. We shouldn't do that right now. Kids are watching. Don't do drugs. Don't. But let's talk about it. Every every person has either gotten broken up with in their life or they broke up with someone in their life. And that song... Unless they're asexual. It's a good point. It's a very good point. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave now. Touché, you know, thank you. You. Know, you know who is asexual? Pink chickens. They are very Pink asexual. <laughs> just so you know. So let's talk about the lyrics because, I mean, this song, yeah, yeah. everybody can relate yeah, I to think the lyrics so. and everything, you know? So. It's a very specific um, situation that I was dealing with, but I think that's, like, the cool thing about music. It's, like... It's so self-centered because it's so about what you're dealing with that other people, so many other people relate. Because it's like if you are honest enough with yourself to just like pour it out, Mm -hmm. other people have those vibes. Now, now I read that this song is obviously very specific to a certain person from your past that Mm -hmm. you don't like to name. Oh, I would never name him. I I hate him, by the way. I I hate him too. He would would love to be named. Right. So my question (laughs) to you, though, is are you positive that he has heard the song and knows it's about him? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Have you gotten any feedback from him oh, about yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And what's that feedback? Like emojis, like <laughs> yeah, right, right, no, right. the I really got, pissed off face <laughs> emoji. I got, I got a bunch of things. I got, well, I blocked his number a while back. That's so good. That's good. I got like emails. He can only send me e- emails that are like the header of emails. Mm. Those yeah. are the only ones that go through to me. And he's yeah. like, I can't believe you. And <laughs> just like <laughs> a bunch of little lines. But, but you know what the best thing about it is? He's gonna hear this song on the radio. He's gonna but, hear but this no, everywhere no, he like, goes. I don't want to make revenge music. That's not what the. It, it's actually like a reckoning with like everything that happened, you know. Mm-hmm. But it happened to kind of become revenge or poetic justice, shall we say? There you go. There you go. Uh, but but yeah, no. Um, I, I feel for him, and he's he's on his own journey. He just is out of mind. his journey. Just sucks, and your journey yeah. is awesome. <laughs> so, so journey, another dad rock group, probably. Oh dad group. Journey, <laughs> dad rock, dad rock. You know, let's 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 talk about something really cool. Uh, Haley from Paramore oh, yeah. tweets about your song. I yeah. mean, how cool is that? That was wild. I mean, I'm you, a like, huge you, Paramore fan. Did you read it and go, is this an April Fool's joke? No. <laughs> is someone messing with me here? No. Like, who did this? I read it and I was like, oh my God. Retweet. Yeah. Retweet. 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 Favorite. 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 And it, yeah. And you know, your feed just starts going crazy. Have you guys ever met before? Was this no, something out of the blue? No, I wish. I'm like a huge fan of her. 
from when I was younger, when I was like so angsty. When you were younger, what, a month ago? Is Paramore an old group? They're not a dad rocker. Who from you younger? No, no, I mean like when I was in high school, like okay. when I found Paramore, it was a... Yeah, because you are you are 22, day. I think. So I'm, read, 22, right? I'm 22. Right, so I guess that, you know, yeah. high school, Paramore, okay. So is it true that Charlie XCX also helped you write the song? Yes, on this so, one. So how did that come around? You know, just through people like Benny Blanco is kind of, he, he keeps a... A Rolodex, I guess, there and he's go. like, "You guys would work really well together." She's another Leo. She's a uh, like five di- five days older than me, so we're like, we're on similar. Uh, you guys are like vibes. besties. We get the same references and stuff, and we yeah. actually met at Benny's birthday party. Oh, cool! Uh, a while back, but you yeah, know, we've also invite. written no, for other. <laughs> we've written for other people too now, and it's it's fun because I I'm I was always more of like an artist, mm-hmm. but I I like the concept of also writing for other artists. So that's like a Can new it? aspect of my. I read that um, you and her wrote a song or maybe a couple songs for some different artists. Are you able to name those artists yet, or is it still a secret? You know, I feel like I've I've said it before, and I don't I don't know. I, I don't want to jinx it because I feel like it might be jinxed okay. now that I've mentioned it before. Okay. So I'm leaving it. So at we'll that. leave it at that. So yeah. to be to, well, to to be announced, the song between you and uh, Charlie. Yeah, XCX. Charlie and I wrote. And, and speaking of jinxing, ever since you performed on David Letterman, you know he's going to be he got fired in like a month. You know that, right? <laughs> you know, I every, know. They, they My said parents it. They <laughs> They said ever since you performed, it was so amazing. They were like, why did, you, why did you bring her on the show? <laughs> so <laughs> how cool out. is that? Performing with David because he's legit going to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Soon. Very soon. Very no, soon. that was really awesome. That You know, being able to, to be on a show that's so legendary, and that's almost... What was the top ten countdown that? Yeah, that right. Do you remember? Is that what it's called, the top ten countdown? Do you remember what it was called that night or no? Mm-mm. No, no. Me either. I forgot. No. I don't remember. We were... What was what? About... Mitt oh, Romney political joke. humor. We don't oh, get that, yeah, we that don't, night. We yeah. don't mess with that. Yeah. Well, remember? that night was the anniversary of his quadruple bypass or something. Like oh, that's that. a fun joke. That's, that's, a, that's a really fun <laughs> show no, to that's be. That's a joke. <laughs> it's just there's and number history. one. I'm still alive. There's All right. History for you guys. <laughs> Were you more nervous on the legendary uh, David Letterman talk show or on the legendary Styles and Roman B96 stage right now? Oh damn. Hey. <laughs> I'm here right now. Right, right, hey. right, right. Well, how about this? We uh we could talk to you all day long, but why don't we let your voice speak for itself? Because you have an amazing voice. Oh. So will you perform? Right now? Yeah. Right, and be, cool. before you start singing, tell everybody the album is going to be out the full when? Oh, yeah. The full is uh, June 16th. June 16th? Very yeah. soon. All yeah. right. All right. Sounds Very good. Very excited. Give all it up right. right now. Rin Weaver in the house, Thank Chicago. You.